Alejandro Toledo sat calmly as the verdict was handed down. He had the duty to protect and preserve the assets of the state in a rational manner, avoiding abuse, waste or misuse, without using or allowing others to use the assets of the state for private purposes. He accepted a bribe of $35 million from the Odebrecht company in return for a contract to build a 650-kilometer section of a highway connecting Peru to Brazil. That portion of the highway was initially estimated to cost $507 million, but Peru ended up paying Odebrecht more than $1.2 billion. It's a historic conviction against a former president and it sends a message that there is no place for impunity in our country. The crimes of corruption are punished. More than 100 witnesses testified against Toledo. Throughout the trial, the 79-year-old denied any wrongdoing. I want to publicly say that I am innocent. Innocente. Toledo fled to the U.S. after leaving office, but last year lost his bid against extradition while citing political persecution was transferred to this jail especially designed for Peru's presidents. Toledo shared imprisonment with former presidents Alberto Fujimori and Pedro Castillo. Fujimori was freed last year and died a month ago. Castillo is awaiting trial. Former presidents Ollanta Humala and Pedro Pablo Kuczynski are under investigation for corruption and could end up jailed here. Only two-time president Alan Garcia evaded justice, taking his life in 2019. Toledo went from extreme poverty to the presidency in 2001. During the months-long hearing, Toledo asked the judge to spare him from prison. I have cancer, I have heart problems, and in a few months I will turn 80. If this is to continue, I only ask, please, let me defend myself from my home. But for now, Toledo remains in his cell while facing another corruption case, one that could see Another 16 years in prison. Mariana Sanchez, Al Jazeera, Lima. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.